skills of, of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, our prayer nugget today, coming from Ephesians, God wants to encourage you that we are strong in the Lord. When you go to pray, when you go to pray like we're going to do today for the city of Cleveland, You've heard so many things going on in the city of Cleveland right in, the, in these past few weeks, past month. We see children getting murdered and all kinds of mayhem and crime and all kinds of violence. And I'm saying, Lord God, what has been unleashed unto, on the city of Cleveland? We know everywhere there's violence, everywhere there's murders. But it seems like the enemy has stepped up a little bit more against the city of Cleveland. I, I know it's all over the land. I know it's all over the city. I know it's all over the nation. But today, since we are we live in Cleveland, let's take authority in Cleveland. He says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. So we're not wrestling against a person. We're not wrestling against a man. We're not wrestling against a girl, a boy, a woman. We wrestle against principalities. We're coming against powers. We're coming against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So when we come to into the throne of grace today to pray to God, we have to put on the full armor of God that we will be well-equipped soldiers. We are soldiers in the land in the name of Jesus. We're not afraid today. Hear that, Satan? We're not afraid of you. We know our authority. God told us that he's given us power against unclean spirits scorpions and serpents and all of all the powers of the enemy he says and by nothing by any means will hurt us so as we go to pray today be going in with confidence be going in with boldness be going in knowing who we are in christ to get the job done we putting on the full armor of god in the name of jesus let's pray now father god in the name of jesus we give you the glory that's due unto your name father god we bless your name today. We give you honor today. We give you worship today, oh God. We bless your holy name. Father God, we love you so much. We thank you, oh God, for the privilege to pray. We thank you, oh God, that when we come to pray, God, we don't come in and of our own selves. We come in through the power of the Holy Ghost. We come in through the power of Jesus. Jesus says, all power has been given unto me. And at the name of Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that you are Lord God Almighty. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we know when we come to pray, we got to come before you clean, God. Your word says about people who are called by my name, if they will just humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. You said you will hear from heaven, you will forgive our sin, and you will heal the land. Truly, God, city of Cleveland, we are in need of a healing in our land. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we ask you, Lord God, forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus. Wash us and purge us and purify our hearts, O oh God. That when we stand before you, O oh God, our hands are clean, our hearts are clean, our souls are clean, our spirits are clean before your Father God. Nothing can stand before the righteous. You said in your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, O oh God, and we give you honor, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, O oh God, for the privilege to pray. We thank you, O oh God, for the great Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the great intercessor among us. He says sometimes we don't even know how to pray for as we are. But when we come in, we come in asking the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the third person of the Godhead to take, to take control. Can take, can take control over the prayers. Take control of our inner sessions. Take control, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Take control in the name of Jesus. Father God, we coming and pray in our heavenly language to start off our prayers. Oh God, we give you praise. God, we pray for the city of Cleveland. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against Cleveland and the surrounding Cerberus will prosper. Every tongue risen up against us in judgment, God, we condemn it right now. For this is our heritage as a servant of the Lord. Our righteousness is of thee, O God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you said whatsoever 
whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We take authority over every unclean spirit that has been sent from the pit of hell against our city in the name of Jesus. We come against this spirit of violence against our babies, against our youth, against the young people. We come against every demon that wants to kill the babies. It's, it's the same. There's nothing new under the sun. It happened in the days of Moses, Father God, when he was trying to find out the deliverer. Oh God, it was a it was a, it was a proclamation sent to kill all the young boys in, in in the days of Moses. But Moses escaped. You sent him away. He escaped the trick. He escaped the ploy. He escaped the strategy. He he ex escaped the mayhem. And Moses didn't die. He didn't die in his youth. He didn't die as a young child. He didn't die as a baby, but he rose up. He grew up to be the deliverer of Israel. Oh, Father God, you stopped it in that day for Moses. And I believe in these days in 2015. Oh, God, there are even greater than Moses is here. Is even here, God. You don't have Moses all over the land. You got Moses in their infancy, and they're two and three years old. Like that little boy, Major, was killed in his infancy. He was only about two or three years old. He could have been the next Moses. He could have been the next, next deliverer. He could have been the next prophet. He could have been the next one that will come forth and do a miracle that will deliver millions at a time. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let a, not another little boy like Major be killed by the hands of the wicked one. We bind you, Satan. We come against you, Satan. We take authority. We come against you. You loose our youth. We put a stop to you right now. In the spirit realm, we put up a stop sign. No more killings of our babies. You would take your hands off the little ones. Take your hand, every trick, every strategy against them. We bring it to naught right now in the name of Jesus. And not another little one like Major would die. Even the other little child that was even killed. Just at that, at that senseless murder, oh God. Senseless things against them, God. It shall not. We decree and declare. Your word says decree a thing and so shall it be, God. You're looking for an intercessor that you will raise up in these times and these seasons. Oh God, we thank you that you have chosen us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God this Satan, he, he desired to kill their children in their youth. He tried to kill Jesus in his youth. Uh, oh before he was even rose up uh, he was rose up to take his rightful place in the earth realm. He wanted to kill Jesus in his youth. Uh, oh God, but there was an angel it told Joseph, oh don't go, don't go don't go, don't go to the city of Jerusalem at this point. He told him to, he, told, he sent him around another way. He sent him out of the way of the hands of Herod, out of the hands of the wicked one. Father God, there's the spirit of Herod still exists today. He didn't just die. He wasn't a man. Father God, you told us earlier, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We come against the spirit of Herod. We come against that same spirit. It's a different, it comes in a different face. It comes in a different form, but it's still the spirit of Herod, the one to not Annihilate the babies. Uh, annihilate our little ones. Uh, annihilate the young, your young babies. Uh, annihilate our teenagers. He wants to annihilate the youth in the name of Jesus. But we declare and decree that every trick and every strategy is coming to naught today because Satan is bound today. Father God, you said that we can rebuke the enemy. But another scripture says, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, we thank you for building up a fortress around our youth right now. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we declare and decree according to Psalms 91 that they dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. They abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I decree a divine protection about each and every one of them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, even the babies in the womb, where they want to kill the babies in the womb, kill the abort the babies. Oh God, what a diabolical plan. Oh God, Satan knows that if I can kill the babies, even in the womb, even before their birth out of the mother's belly, even before they ever birthed out of her, I can just kill them right in the womb, right in their mother's womb. Oh God, I, I know some people think are for abortion, and I'm not getting into put the, the the politics of it all. But God is still. My Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill." We can't kill the babies in the womb. We might be killing the next prophet of the nations. We might be killing the next Elijah. Oh God, we might be killing killing off them even before they had a chance, even though they had a chance even to live. 
Even before they have a chance to come into the earth realm. Even before they had even a chance to become a baby and, and grow up to be a young, young, young person, a young adult. Oh God, we said, we, can we stop the spirit of, of abortion? Killing our babies in the womb. Oh, what a diabolical plan. What a diabolical plot of the enemy. We curse it in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we plead the blood. We plead the blood against all of all of our all of our babies right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we come against the spirit of of, of gang violence uh, against our youth. Uh, oh, killing killing each other. Oh God, the enemy knows. He said, "I well, I, I know what I'll do. I'll get them to kill each other. I get the get. I I just I just cause them to turn on their own selves instead of being unified. Instead of being on one accord as young people. Instead of being on the same path on the same pathway." On the same frequency, Father, he said, "I now know what I'll do. I'll just cause the, the young people to turn on their turn." against each other in the name of Jesus. Father God, these things are not so. It shall not continue, God. We put a stop sign. We put a stop sign around our young adults, our young our teenagers. We say we say no trespassing. No trespassing in, the, in, in on them. No trespassing. We put a demarcation line about our babies in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, in the name of for our school systems. Uh, oh God, we pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against that demon that want to rise up in the school systems. Uh, oh God, we we see plots, uh, plots and plans against the babies. Uh, plots and plans against our young people in the school systems. God, oh God, we, we it will it will not it will not be a no another attack in our school systems. It will not be another attack on our schools. Uh, oh, the enemy and times past. Uh, oh, sent in demons and work. Witches uh, and sorcerers covered up in their in their form of flesh uh, to attack to attack them in the in the in the school systems. Uh, oh God, it shall not be no more. We plead the blood of Jesus over them, Father God. Father God, we release angels, God. In the name of Jesus, we send the angels, oh God. We have warring angels like Michael. Oh God, we send warring angels of his sort uh, all around the school systems. Father God, all around our schools, all around our elementary schools, all around our junior high schools, all around our high schools. In the name of Jesus, all around them, in the name of Jesus, all around the uh, Euclid High School right now. Father God, a trick, a ploy has been set, already plotted. The enemy sits and plots. Uh, he sits up. He sits up and plots. He sends out demons. He sends out principalities. He sends out powers. He sends out the rulers of darkness. He sends out witches and warlocks and sorcerers. He sends them out. Oh God, he got a plot. But we got a plot against the school systems shall not be. We plead the blood of Jesus over the city of Euclid. We plead the blood of Jesus over the city of Cleveland and all the surrounding suburbs in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of child abuse. Every demon. We come against that demon. It was one spirit that was that rose up in the city of Cleveland. Oh God, he 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 molested he molested one of our abuse, uh, and he and he had the audacity, oh the, the audacity to videotape it. What a wicked demon! Uh, oh, we curse the spirit of molestation amongst our youth. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against child abuse uh, right now in the name of Jesus. We come against that spirit of molestation. Uh, it shall not continue. We put a stop to it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we bind it up in the name of Jesus, uh, and we lose divine protection. Uh, no more child abuse. Uh, no more, no more of the of the enemy and the sexual abuse against our babies. Uh, oh God, we come against the spirit of sodomy. Oh God, let it not be like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah amongst our youth, oh God. We come against a diabolical spirit of homosexuality in the school systems, God. Oh God, we done made it so easy and so plain for lesbians and, 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 and homosexuals. Uh, oh God, they indoctrinated our babies. Uh, they, they indoctrinated them in the school systems underneath out it's, it's a scheme it's a ploy oh god is underhanded it's covered, uh, but we expose it in the name of Jesus, teaching them that trans, tr being a trans, trans, transgender uh, is, is okay. Uh, being a lesbian is okay. It's just another lifestyle. Being a homosexual is just another lifestyle. Uh, oh, being a, being in the gay in the gay community. Oh, it's just another lifestyle. It's just another choice. Uh, you don't. It's not male and female. It's okay, but it's not okay, God. According to the Bible, you made male and female. You made Adam and Eve, God, in this diabolical. Oh, 
indoctrination. He wants to indoctrinate the youth. Uh, indoctrinate them. Tell them it's okay. It's just something. It's just, it's just another choice. Uh, oh, it's not a choice. We don't have a choice. Uh, God, you made the choice in the name of Jesus when you made Adam and Eve. Uh, so we decree and declare, God, that there's a diabolical doctrinization in the, in the schools, uh, teaching them uh, underhandedly behind our nose. Uh, wake up the parents, God. Well, let it be a wake-up call. We command the enemy to, to loose the, the, the parents. Uh, wake them up. They might teach one thing in the school system. Well, when they go home, uh, let the mothers teach. Let the fathers teach. Uh, let every adult teach. Uh, let their aunties teach. Let, the, let their uncles teach. And their brothers teach. Uh, and their sisters teach them the truth. Uh, you say, you will know the truth. Uh, and the truth will make you free. Uh, I don't care what they teach in the school systems. I don't care whether they're trying to slide in this agenda. It's a hidden agenda. Oh, God, but I pray, I pray, God, that you will wake up the parents. Uh, wake up every mother and every father. I decree it and declare in the spirit realm a wake-up call. A wake-up call. Let it be alarm. Uh, God, we sound the alarm in your holy mountain. Uh, we lift up our voices like a trumpet. Uh, oh, God, we lift it up. We're not afraid. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, every parent, God, every adult that's over the children as they enter into their home, as they enter, enter into their places of abode, as they enter into their dwellings, as they enter into their homes, into their houses, that their parents will stand up and say, I don't care what that diabolical demon of a teacher told you. I don't care what it was on the, on the schedule of the plan, of the, the lesson plan. Oh God, let them say it's not so. Oh God, we can't leave our teaching up to the school systems. We can't leave the teachings of our truth and the, and the grooming of our youth and the, and the, and the doctrine they tell you. We can't leave it to a school system. It's up to this household. It's up to the parents and up to the churches in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the city of Cleveland, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our, 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 our homes, oh God, we cover them in the blood and our churches, God, in the name of Jesus. We won't be an apathetic church. We won't be lazy in the spirit. We won't be apathetic and lazy and slothful and, 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 and don't stand up. We don't care what the enemy says. We're going to preach this gospel of the kingdom uh, or whatever God says that's what we're going to say in the church. Uh, we're not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, oh God in the name of Jesus. Uh, we, we won't sugarcoat what the Bible says uh, but we'll teach our babies. Uh, oh God we'll teach our babies in the name of Jesus. Uh, we'll teach them in the name of Jesus, uh, as as young adults and as children, and even in even in nursery schools, uh, we'll start laying our hands on these babies in the nursery homes, uh, in the nursery schools, God. Even that little ones, oh God, I pray for every child worker. I pray for every nursery care provider. Oh God, in the in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, that you would raise your Christians. Uh, oh God, we pray for the Christians to so you raise them up, God. Raise up born again believers in within in, 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 in our in our nursery schools. Uh, in our, in our, with to dealing with the children, our chair care providers, uh, you can raise up a little, you can raise up righteous men and women. I see them, oh God, all over the land as they take care of the children in the nursery schools. Uh, oh God, they're still quietly, but they'll do it. They lay hands uh, when they tan up their shoes, uh, they'll still be laying hands uh, where they might comb the little girl's hair. These Christians will know they laying hands uh, on these babies, on these youth, on these little ones. Uh, oh God, ca casting off these unclean spirits that the enemy has tried to put upon them uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God, we worship you, Lord. Uh, Father God, we give you praise, oh God. Uh, we give you honor, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that the agenda of heaven will come to pass. Uh, oh God, you will desire our children, uh, the next generation. Uh, you're raising up another generation. Uh, you're raising up a generation right now of prophets. Uh, you're raising up another generation of, of apostles. Uh, you're raising up another generation of pastors and teachers. Uh, you're raising up another generation of, of the evangelist God. You're raising up another generation of ministers and deacons and elders in the church. Uh, you're raising up another generation God uh, and they shall they will not be destroyed. Uh, we will not. You said the enemy comes to kill and to steal and to destroy but you came that we may have life God uh, and life more abundant. Uh, oh God in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God we thank you Lord God. We come against this diabolical plan. To, to, they call them the X generation 
generation. Uh, the ex did Oh, not so, not so. Uh, you said my people. Uh, oh, you say your little ones, your people. They're your children. They're your people. Uh, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. You said this is a generation that seeks you. This is a generation that will praise you. This is a generation that will glorify your name. Uh, this is a generation that will lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, this is a name, generation that will be a true worshiper. Uh, that worship you in spirit and in truth. Uh, to, in the, to, that seek such to worship. Uh, this is a generation that will go ye to all the worlds and preach the gospel. This is a generation that will cast out unclean spirits. Uh, this is a generation, God, that you have called and chosen. Uh, you raising up Davis all over the land. Uh, you raising up a generation of Davis. Uh, you raising up a generation of warriors. Uh, you raising up a generation of soldiers. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, all over the land, all over the land. Raise them up, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, by the power of God, by the glory of God, you raising up a generation of Queen Esther's uh, in the name of Jesus. They will raise up. Uh, you raising up a people, a young people. Uh, oh, God, they will stay the hand of the enemy. Uh, they'll be the people. They'll be the ones uh, that will stay the hand of the enemy. Uh, in the name of Jesus, they will stand and not be moved. Uh, you, They will not be moved. Uh, you raising up a generation that is not scared of the devil. Uh, you say you have not given them to them the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you raising up a generation that's bold as a lion. Uh, oh God, there are lions all over your babies, your young people. Uh, oh, this is the generation of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh God, there are the lions in the land. Uh, they are strong warriors. They are strong soldiers. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I got you raising up that warrior in the name of Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord God, and by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost, uh, that these lions are being released. Uh, Hear their roar. In the name of Jesus, uh, God, we hear the roar, the roar, the roar of these young people that will not be moved. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, today that the sabotage of the enemy is, has come to a stop. The strategy of the devil has come to a stop because we know we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers, and we have the victory. Thanks be unto God, who always gives us the victory, for we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, and greater is he that's within us than he that is in the world. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for hearing our prayers. And I thank you for joining in with me, your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, on the prayer connection, where we make a connection, hallelujah, with God. Oh, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, you we, right now, God, we thank you, Lord God, even as we pray, God, we always want to do one thing in the name of Jesus. As we pray and as we seek your face, Father God, we want to take out the time that anybody that don't know Jesus we want you to say, young people, young people, God, I know you got young people logged on right now. Young, your young girls, young boy, you in the elementary school system, you, in, you, you, you young person, you senior in high school, let me lead you in a prayer. I know you want to be saved. I feel your heart beat. There's a, there's a, there's a generation that want to be saved. Repeat after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I realize that I'm a sinner in need of a savior. Forgive me of my sin. I want to be saved. I want to be a new creation. I want to be I want to be a Christian that stands for righteousness. I want to be saved. I want you, God. Your word says, that's right, go ahead and repeat it. Your word says that I've confessed with my mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead. I would be saved. For with my heart, I believe it. And with my heart, mouth, I confess it. Now, that simple prayer, young person, that simple prayer ushered you into the kingdom of God. Now, you could be a warrior in your school system. You could be a warrior right where you are amongst your friends, amongst your neighbors. You can take a stand for Christ in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God, for all the young people all over the land that's calling on the name of Jesus. You say, whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In the name of Jesus. We always want to take out the time to lead people to Christ. On the prayer connection. Where you make a connection with God. Yes. You have just...
prayed with me, your sister in Christ, Michelle Rice, on the prayer connection, where you make a connection with heaven. I will see you next time. I love you, and most of all, Jesus loves you. Amen. Bye-bye. Okay, Amen. Thanks for that.